All right, so we're checking out the only game that gives you the opportunity to make a television show about zombies and hoes. It's Series Makers. I feel like someone's done that before. I don't know, like off the top of my head, but I feel like that's been a show at some point. New game, damn it. Studio name, how long can you make this? Pretty damn long. User name, is this like the CEO or something? Okay, looks good. I'm gonna make this guy a red shirt. Oh, you can't, oh, you totally can. It's a lie. For a second there, I thought that, nope, I was totally right. You can only go one direction on the colors. That's kind of weird that there's not like an arrow that goes the opposite way. See, this game forces everyone on a forward path. I'm gonna give this guy dark brown pants so chocolate sauce doesn't show up as easy. Welcome everyone to Netflix. I, is this our business? I don't know. Like, it looks like I'm, Inside of a basement, maybe? I'm not really sure. Is that, a, is that a light rider? And that looks like a legitimate... Uh, oh, pocket money. I guess mom is tossing my allowance at me. There's really no backstory to this, so I'm not really sure. Oh, new series. Okay. Eh, that's probably not PC enough. Let's just call it, uh... There we go. Setting. Ah, uh, where the hell's like modern? Eh, city, that sounds good. Pick the... <laughs> Yes! Oh, thank you, God. Oh, my God. This is totally a family movie. And Zots is off and running. I've been so happy to bring this story to fruition. What the hell is this? All right, so Ballsy over here is typing away, and by typing, I mean he's kind of fondly caressing the wooden portion of the desk. Define your story. Remember, your combination of city and zombies. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna bring this up here a little bit. Perfect. I feel like this is a lot like Zombieland, only with like more fan service, I guess. Protagonist, Sun Roku. <laughs> Cassandra Mullock. Oh my God, we have to have Sun Roku in here. Roku, go forth and make Zox a hit. Oh, Light Rider would be proud. Okay, it's finished. So what happens at this point? Like, uh, is this on VHS? Like, where even are we here? Technology kit, what the hell is all this? Awesome combination, oh, it sure is. Anything with Sun Roku is an awesome combination. Go ahead and broadcast this and let me lose my directorial license. If it's Sun Roku, can I take intelligence away? Damn it, I mean, I guess we'll make him like very brave and very happy. That seems like the appropriate thing. Oh, here we go. We're getting the rating for Zots right now. I can't wait to see. 525, five, the team was bad. The protagonist, Sun Roku, was good. The story was flawed. The setting is just amazing. Well, two things. First thing, David Hain, you can go to hell. Second thing, Andre, whatever your name is, you can join David. These two people get to go on the list of those that will survive the culling. Oh, hey, Zots has three viewers. Is this like an internet series? I'm not even sure, but it doesn't, it looks like we're like in the 1989 or something like that. Oh, ballsy happy maker. Oh, serious report, sure. Tell me all about Zots. What, what sort of, what sort of fantastic combination? Did I manage to reel in with this extraordinary script writing perfect combination? I appreciate that Zots is bringing enough, enough money daily to buy like a combo from McDonald's. If only it was that easy. So can you like research stuff or how the hell does this? Oh, new theme, drugs. <laughs> it's just its own theme, it's just drugs. You know, what What the hell? I like that Ballsy has finished researching drugs. Can I research more stuff? Uh, Samurais, sure. Okay. Uh, history, we'll do the, <laughs> this is like prime candidacy for demonetization. I don't know what this is, but what the hell? All right, first off, the history of drugs is serious business. This pie chart looks like a blueberry donut that's like partly bloody and partly toxic. <laughs> One mistakes, oh, this was a mistake. Sun Roku, get your ass in there. Sun Roku is gonna be like the Tom Hanks of the new world, all right? He's gonna be in every friggin' film from comedies to action to history of drugs. Oh, I can't wait to see these friggin' ratings. Oh, it's actually better than Zots. You son of a bitch. What does this even mean? The setting combination was over average. Is that, is that like above average? Whatever, I'll take it. We're getting better, man. Oh damn, everybody be watching Wankulus Maximus. I can't believe it's doing that well. Oh, we can research marketing. Yes, please. All right, we're doing this. The setting is gonna be farm with samurai. Farm samurais all the way. I love it. I'm the reason, like the single-handed reason why Netflix stocks are falling. Action. Complexity, no, I don't think so. You know what, screw it, it's all action. Okay, okay, just because of the title, we'll put a little bit of humor in there. I'm giving Cassandra the opportunity to be in a film finally. We'll say that uh, Sun Roku over there ended up pulling a ball muscle or something. She'll be the smart one. Wow. 
This is the most average kick in the balls I've ever received in my entire life. The story was close, was it? Did you even read the script? You realize it was Farm Samurais, right? See, Sebastian read it. <laughs> The setting theme combination was not good at all. I, I do agree, but I still wanted to do it. Farm Samurais is a very bad combination. <laughs> Thanks, game. Oh my god, this film bombed so hard. We need to we need to come up with a legitimate film because I, I need to make money. Alright, we're going with donations accepted. Medieval? Medieval fashion? You know what? Oh my god, I'm just setting myself up for failure with this. Should I just pick dragons? No, screw it. We're doing fashion. I don't care. See all this right here? This is how many takes it took to get donations accepted past the uh, the production phase into the final phase here. I like that the visuals are pretty high on this one at least. Spending all the budget on the uh, on the CGI. Although depending on what year it is, we may just be like freaking hand drawing this stuff in. You know what? It's better than awful. I'll take it. Oh, I should have known. On a side note, though, everyone's watching this thing. All right, that's enough M Night Shyamalaning around. It's time to make a series for the money. Okay, we're going space. We're going, oh, horror. This should absolutely be shown in schools across the nation. Why wouldn't it be? It's a space horror movie. I mean, I don't know. I'm just picturing like a bunch of teens on a spaceship. Maybe it's like a casino spaceship. All the kids are getting drunk. They always do. They're leaving crap all over the friggin' floor. Eventually the robot janitor ends up going nuts because it's tired cleaning up all the vomit and urine. You know what horror movies are like. It's just girls running around in their underwear and guys getting decapitated. That's really all you need. Since it's a janitor robot though, it needs a cool kill. It needs like, uh, you know, where it rips a guy's head off and it puts his head on the broomstick and then it starts sweeping the floor with the guy's mouth open. See, so the guy is technically eating all of the waste that he had created. It's a, see, it's like a, uh, it's a deep circular concept. Let's just, Let's just make the kids watch this. 5.5 for a horror ain't bad. I feel like I'm the most average producer in the entire history of filmmaking. I feel like my problem is I keep coming up with a name before I decide to pick the setting and the theme, so it ends up turning out to be very, very odd. Okay, history ninjas, for the love of God. What better combination can you possibly have? This better do well because I'm not gonna be able to afford Hot Pockets pretty soon. Actually, were Hot Pockets around when we're doing this? I still don't know what the hell year this is. All right, son. Roku, you were always meant to be a historical ninja. Get the hell in there. My god, finally. All right. Sun Roku getting broadcasted. The review should be coming in momentarily. I pray to Jesus that we're above a five this time. Hey, hey, Yatsy. It seems like such a passive aggressive statement. The director, Ballsy Happy Maker, was nice. Like as a person or as a creator. Oh, ye freaking ha. Oh my God, everybody loves Beat It Off. This is, I've never seen so many people beaten at the same time. Look at this. This is our best, this is our best series yet. Oh my God, I should make a second one. I should make a sequel. Can you make sequels in this game? I can do whatever I want, we can do whatever we want. I guess you can. Oh, we have a fan. I don't know what it does, but cool, I guess. Okay, see now this is gonna be set off 6,000 years in the future, where Beat It Off is still very prominent, okay? The the, the premise. I, I've never really figured out what the premise of the of the movie is. It's probably a, a very common dilemma for directors. Oh, marketing, what the hell? Sure. Cassandra's gonna be in Beat It Off this time. She hasn't been in a movie in a couple of years. What level do you have to get to to be the Coen brothers? This story was terrific. This is gonna be like our Avengers series, man. I just made $13,000, how? What the crap? What was it from? I don't have any more viewers than normal. Is this inflation? Is this what inflation did? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, you can do animation now? Hell yes. I've always wanted to make an animation. Space. Animation. Marketing. All of it. Can I do more? Can I like keep stacking this? What does this even do if I keep doing this? All right, I chose everything. I don't know what the hell it does, so I just picked everything over and over again. <laughs> Good marketing, yeah, no crap. I spent like $4,000 in marketing. Oh, son of a bitch. Now I know how uh, the people that made like Transformers Dark Side of the Moon felt. Werewolves? <laughs> Without the second E? <laughs> Gotta do it. All right, Team Jacob, video store. Come on, baby, we're doing this. See, this is gonna be more complex, okay? See, in this one, Jacob struggles with depression and alcohol dependence. Andre, you're friggin' horrible. Whatever money we make from this is going to go into hiring someone to kneecap you. What the hell? What kind of arbitrary ass numbers are these? 
This wasn't supposed to be a hit. I didn't even make a real title. Son of a bitch. I'm starting to get the feeling like this is one of those games where the less you try, the better you do. What? Do you want to change your office? Hell yes, I want to change. Oh, Jesus. Now we're upgrading. We're finally out of the basement. What the hell? Okay. There's a lot more to this game than I originally thought. Yeah, sure, do all this. Okay, I I didn't mean for this to happen, but I really hope that this this show does well. All right, Cassandra, go friggin' get him. And it's a home run. You know what, what the hell? Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Hire staff, please. Okay, we're getting George Lucas up in here. I can't afford any of you bastards. Oh my god, I'm $45,000 in the friggin' red for this production. I hope that this works out okay. This is what it all comes down to. This is whether or not... Well, oh my god, no. See, this is how it happens. You start going into crazy debt. <laughs> Also, how come the friggin' Marvel Universe can make 10,000 superhero movies, but I can't make the same damn video twice? Okay, crap pulled in some stacks. That's reassuring. Well, I've got a new friggin' employee, so at least we can both go bankrupt together. The fact that this movie's doing so well, I kind of regret naming it something so pointless. Damn! Okay, well maybe we'll finally be out of freaking debt now. Okay, we just came out with Whackers, which is futuristic hacking. Seems to be doing okay, and by doing okay, I mean I'm not gonna be sleeping in a box. Because I think I still got like 120 grand in freaking loans to pay off. Alright, well, I guess we did it. We're still alive. We've got a slightly bigger studio now, and sweet Jesus, we've got like 30 movies to our names at this point. I've even got a minion now. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoy Series Makers. I think I kind of understand what this game's about now. Long live Michael Knight. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.